everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Rosie Schwartz. Uh, today we're making a three-part thing. Uh, we're making chicken souvlaki uh, with homemade pitas and homemade tzatziki sauce. That was recommended by someone um, that watches my videos. So uh, I thought, you know what, that's something I've never made. Uh, how hard can it be? So this is my way of doing things, I guess, my recipe. Um, I've got my pita dough rising over here, which we will make. And first off, we're gonna start with the um, tzatziki sauce so that it has time to sit in the fridge and you know all the ingredients in there kind of meld together and be that much more yummy. So what I've done already is I've got a half an English cucumber that I have um, actually used on my or cut up on my mandolin and I used it with the uh, fine little almost like shoestring french fries I want to say but probably a little bit skinnier and they turn it like matchsticks I guess you can call them so I uh, grated it or sliced it on this and uh, salted it and then put it in a bowl uh, with a strainer so that the cucumber can leap I guess it's called and uh, that way our tzatziki sauce won't be so runny. So they were sitting for a little while and as you can see I've like squished them and some people put them in through cheesecloth. That was also something that I had seen and read about but I actually, my mom growing up she used to make a cucumber salad that she would uh, actually use the mandolin but not matchstick things. She would just slice them very thinly put salt on them, let them sit for a little while, and then just squish the crap out of them. And it would look like a baseball when she was done, like dry cucumber almost. So that's kind of what I've done. And uh, so I've got half of an English cucumber here that I've got. I've got one cup of Greek yogurt that we're gonna add to this. And actually I tasted this Greek yogurt and it reminded me of sour cream. I'm like, oh, hey, that's not bad. And it's plain. We are going to add in, stand back, we're going to add in three cloves of garlic because it's going to be garlic. So we're going to put in three cloves of garlic and it'll be good. Maybe a lot of garlic, but hey, it'll keep the mosquitoes away tonight for sure. And for the rest of the week because it's supposed to be pretty hot, I see. Okay, so we got our garlic in there. We're gonna add some fresh cracked pepper. I won't add any salt right now, just because the cucumber was weeping with salt. So uh, we're gonna add in about a tablespoon of olive oil. And a cap full of vinegar. It's very easy to make. We're gonna give that a mix. It smells good already. That garlic and the cucumber, mm-hmm. And you know what, like, look at it. It's like pretty thick. So that's, that's a good thing. Okay. So it's, we've got it all mixed. Let's give it a little bit of a try. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and move on to the next thing. I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, we've got the tzatziki in the fridge, getting friendly with each other in there. Uh, next up, chicken. So I've taken a couple chicken breasts and I've thinly sliced them, I guess you can say. And this is what I've got. And I marinated this in, you can marinate it in, uh, or marinate it for like, 30 minutes to overnight. 
the longer the better, I'm sure, because the flavors. But uh, what I've got in here is some uh, smoked paprika, some oregano, some rosemary, uh, lots of garlic, of course, uh, salt, pepper. Mm, I think that's about it. And I let this marinade for a little while and it smells really good. So we've got the uh, barbecue out there warming up. We're going to put this on there, get it nice and done and charred a little bit because that's what they, that's what you see when you're eating your chicken souvlaki. Okay, so we got, I think we've got all the chicken. Oh no, we got enough for another one. So we're going to get, ooh, we've got enough in here for another one for sure. So let's get this last one on here. You probably don't even need to use the skewers, but I thought, you know what? Might as well. What the heck? Okay, that's all our chicken. So, there you go. Let's get it on the barbecue. On the Traeger, because then I can pull. All right, so we've got our chicken all on the skewers. We're going to put them on the Traeger. We've got it up to, uh, I don't know, 400 some degrees. Hear that sizzle? Oh my gosh. All right, let's get these on here. Let's get them cooking. Next, we're on to making the pitas. Okay, so our chicken is done, and uh, we're gonna set it aside, and we're going to make our pitas. I've preheated my oven to 500, and I've already made a couple. But what you wanna do, got my little ball of dough. We're gonna roll it out to about eight inches round, I want to say. You want to put a cookie sheet, I used a cookie sheet, uh, in your oven, because you want it hot. So when I'm ready to put this in, you want to kind of hear a bit of a sizzle. So I've got two in here now. Check it out. All you want to do is put it on a towel, cover them up, keep them warm. And we've got another one in here. Look at that. Nice and golden. Going to be good. Okay, so I've got this one rolled out. We're going to get in. And you want to bake it in your oven for two minutes. And then you want to flip it. And another two minutes. Okay, so we got our pitas done. They don't have to be perfect. It's a pita. If you make it round, well, boy, that's pretty good. So let's assemble this and try it because I'm so excited. Oh, that meat is just falling off there. Get some of that. Tzatziki sauce. Ooh, it's nice and thick. Put some tomatoes on there. See if we don't break this or make a mess or whatever. Okay, I'm going in. I'm going to try it. I'm going to be the guinea pig today. so good and everything is homemade except for the tomato that I had to buy because my tomatoes from the garden aren't ready yet but otherwise like everything is fresh and it's local chickens local everything it's so good mm. anyhow guys I'm gonna eat this and have a great week we'll see you next week bye for now